everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming Marvel Legends Captain America nuke figure from Hasbro. Now this six inch figure comes packaged in the same style of packaging we've seen with the other Marvel Legends for 2016. You've got the Build-A-Figure Giant Man logo up at the very top, then you've got the Legends series logo and the figure clearly displayed along with the accessories and then down below you have the Captain America logo and the name of the character. On the side of the packaging we have some artwork for the character and then on the back of the packaging we have a look at the figure with a bio in multiple languages and then down below we have a look at all the figures in this wave. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with the accessories. So first of all, this figure comes with the torso piece for the Civil War Giant Man Build-A-Figure, which we'll be taking a look at in its own review once we've looked at all the other figures in this wave. So be sure to check back for that. Now besides that, we get uh, this rifle, which is a, a repaint of the rifle that came with uh, the AIM Soldier. So this is just a repaint. It's not anything, I don't think it's, it's meant to really be anything that was actually ever used in the comic book. It's been painted with uh, basically red, white, and blue co type colors, a uh, silver metallic paint. You've got some red striping and then blue with a little star because, you know, Nuke is kind of a, a, a psychotic super soldier type character. So I guess they, they just decided to repaint this gun in, in kind of patriotic colors. But again, this is just a repaint of that uh, rifle that came with the aim soldier and we also get this big giant buck knife and i don't know if this this has probably been reused with another figure but but i haven't been able to match it up with anything specific but detailing on it's pretty nice the blade is black but then you've got the silver metallic on the edge which is nice and then you've got the the green handle with the wrappings and he, they've given him um on his on his vest this uh basically a sheath to put the put the buck knife and it fits in nice and tight so i like that so I think that looks pretty good. Now the the vest itself, um, again, I haven't really been able to match up with any other figure, so I don't know if it's a reuse, but it is removable. It is just that kind of uh, vinyl uh, rubber material. It's got some grenades that are basically glued onto it, and then on this other side, it's got some shotgun shells and then some pouches sculpted on it. You've got some silver metallic for the belt buckles on this, and then like I see, said, you got this uh, sheath that they've attached to the back for the for the buck knife. So I do like that and I like that it's removable. And then finally we get two different head sculpts with this figure which I think is nice and both head sculpts I think look really good. Um, the one that's attached to the figure when you take it out of the packaging is the more traditional look for Nuke. He's got the buzz cut, um, dark blondish hair and then he's got the American flag painted on his face and he's kind of you know gritting his teeth but this is definitely more of the traditional look um, as we saw him when he first appeared in Daredevil. Uh, Nuke was a character I don't know if you're aware but Nuke was basically created by Frank Miller and first appeared in Daredevil and then um, again in Daredevil with where Captain America and Daredevil team up against him and then we kind of go back um, I think it was in New X-Men or something along those lines where they kind of go back and, and delve more into the origins and that's where this um, second head kind of comes into play so it's a more of a cyborg head we discover that um, basically they replaced a lot of nukes parts with with cyborg parts and so this head has got basically skin torn off and you've got you know the metal um, showing underneath and I think this head looks really good I like the on the chin there you can see um, the metal pieces and then around his eye and everything so he's he's bald this this head sculpt is bald and and but again I really like the detailing with the the cyborg pieces and how the skin is kind of cut out and everything I think it looks really good switching out the heads is easy like with all these figures it's just attached with the ball joint so you just pop off the one head and then you just uh, snap on the other head and it uh, generally uh, will pop right into place okay so for the figure itself I've gone on and removed the vest and you can see that um, this is basically the torso, the upper torso here, or the torso 
of the figure is a reuse of the Hyperion mold. It's uh, You've got those double holes on the back, and it is just a reuse of, of that mold that we originally saw with Hyperion. Same with the arms. Those are also from Hyperion. Now, at least this hand here is a reuse of Hyperion. This one is, is different. Hyperion had a closed fist for this hand. It basically looks just an opposite of this hand. And the legs, I've not been able to match up with, with another figure, so I don't... It, it looks like this is uh, new legs, uh, possibly, but again, it's definitely not from Hyperion. You've got the little pouches that are sculpted on, and then you've got these knee pads, and you've got some nice uh, wash work where it's like the metal is scratched off on his knee pads. And then the feet also are different from Hyperion. You've got these army boots. Again, I've not been able to match them up with, with another figure. I, I, I won't swear that they're new, but but definitely not from Hyperion. And overall, I think this works well. I, you know, I like the size of this figure. Um, he's got this belt that is separate from the figure. It's, again, that rubber type material. It's not removable or anything. And you've got the pouches uh, sculpted around the back and everything, which I think looks good. A um, little bit darker brown on the belt than like the pouches on his leg here. But still, I think it looks pretty good. And the pants are just an olive green. No real wash work or anything on the pants. The skin tone, I think, is really nice on, on the body. I, th I think the figure looks as good without the vest on than, than with the vest. Now, the vest itself is the same color as the belt so the belt and the the vest definitely match up nicely so i apologize i've uh, temporarily misplaced my tape measure so i can't give an exact measurement of the figure but you can see here he is next to the hyperion figure and you can see they're pretty much the same size for more comparisons here's some uh, other figures of characters that nuke has faced over the years so we've got the the new daredevil figure and the latest wolverine figure from hasbro as well as the cap wolf captain america figure and u.s agent so you can see um, Nuke is definitely the tallest of the bunch, is even taller than the new Captain America figure, which is pretty big. But overall, I'd say that scale works out pretty well. Articulation is pretty good on this figure. The head is on a ball hinge joint, so he can look left and he can look right. And he's got good down movement, and he's got good up movement with the head. Arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder, so you can get the arm out good. He's got good rotation there. He's got the bicep swivel. He's got the double jointed elbow, so good bending at the elbow. And then he's got the swivels at the wrist, and he's also got the hinges on the hand, so he's got good up and down movement with the hands. Now he has an ab crunch joint. Now when he's got the vest on, that limits a little bit of the ab crunch, but he can still crunch down good. You get that clicky noise, and then he can uh, crunch back pretty good. Again, a little bit more limited when he's got the vest on. He's got a waist swivel. The belt, because it's a separate piece, doesn't limit the movement at all there at the waist swivel. Legs are attached with ball joints, so he can do the splits pretty good. He can get his leg forward good, and he can do his leg back about that much. He does have a thigh swivel. He's got a double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. And then he does have boot cuff swivels and then he's got the hinges on the feet so good up and down movement with the feet and he's got the ankle pivot and then two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Okay so that's my view. Overall I really like this figure. It's probably my favorite comic book based figure in the wave. I really like the alternate head and how it came out looking with the cutout skin and the cyborg pieces. The vest is pretty nice. The buck knife is not bad. I don't like the rifle they gave him. I think it's kind of silly looking. I would have much rather seen something like a Gatling gun or just a regular rifle but otherwise I think you know this is a really nice figure and if you're a fan of the new character I think this is one that you'll want to add to your collection. Now the wave with this figure is not yet out in the United States. I think it should probably be out by the end of the month or maybe early next month at the latest. It is out in places like the Philippines which is where I picked up my my figures from. We'll have a full gallery of images up at MarvelousNews.com. There's a link in the description below and as always leave a comment let us know what you think. If you're so inclined please like the video and if you haven't already please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.